doing? I'm good. What about you? Yeah. So, Kwesi, please, if you can bring us up to speed. Uh, what is happening in Spain right now? Uh, right now, we all know what is going on around this group and in this coronavirus situation. So, we are being locked down and we are in our various rooms and we are taking good care of ourselves. So, okay. So, are you, are, you, are you training whilst you are at home or everything is at a standstill? Yes, yes, we keep on, we keep on training. Uh, we, we have our training programs from the, from the club and we do Zoom live video and we train together as a team. So we keep on training, make sure we are fit. Okay, so which club are you currently playing for in Spain? Right, right now, uh, I play for UD Ibiza, uh, Union Deportiva. Okay, UD uh, Ibiza, okay, great. So, how long have you been in there in Spain? Okay, getting to uh, seven months because I just signed last year, uh, August. Okay, now let us begin the journey. Which clubs did you play for in Ghana? I know of Cheetah FC, but before Cheetah FC, which club growing up, which club did you play for? I uh, played for KFC Samosa uh, in Kumasi, then uh, Cheetah FC uh, in Kaswa. Yeah. Okay, so um, right from Cheetah, where did you go? Uh, right from Cheetah, I go to uh, Armenia, that's FC Banan. Mm. Yeah, so from FC Banan, then I, I got a contact from FC Watford. And I joined Watford. So from Watford, I went to Italy to train with uh, FC Udinese because Watford and Udinese are one team, the same team with the same owner. So okay. uh, from Udinese, then I went to a six months long in Albania, KF Scandabil. So okay. KF Scandabil, after KF Scandabil, mm. then I signed a year loan contract with UD Ibiza. Okay. So tell us a bit about yourself growing up in Ghana. How was it? Did your parents support the idea of you becoming a footballer? Um, yes, yes, yes. My parents was really supporting me uh, in my career because my mom was a sportswoman and all my senior brothers was into sports. So my, my family were very serious to support me in my career because when I was a child, I decided to play football. So, and the one who asked me to play football was anything done when I was a kid. So, mm. my family was willing to support me. Okay, that's very good. Where, which area did you grow up and which school did you attend when you were young here in Ghana? Oh, uh, I, I grew up uh, in Kofum, in Kumasi. Kofum. Kumasi, And I attend uh, the Champs so or MA Block B. Uh, mm. And I was a trip here. Okay. So, Okay. So as a young player in Ghana, which players did you look up to on the local scene then? Because you've mentioned Zidane as your uh, a mentor or somebody who inspired you locally whilst growing up. Which players did you look up to? In Ghana League? Yes, in Ghana. When you were young. Oh, yeah. Ghana. When I was young, uh, Steven, uh, Steven Odro. I think it was okay. playing for Kotoko. Mm. Steven Odro, uh, he was quick on the ball, he was playing uh, simple football and mm. that's the type of my game. I love to play simple, so I was looking up to him. Great. Now, let us look at uh, you becoming a cheetah player. Did you have the opportunity to play for any of the national team? Were you invited? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, I haven't got any call-up in the national team, but... I know one day uh, to show you come to fight and I'm hoping for that. Okay, so at, at your age, what is your age now and which of the national teams are you eligible to play for? At my age now, right now, I'm looking uh, to build a call-up uh, to serve uh, the national, the Black Star, the senior team. Okay. When you look at the Black Stars, even though we are not playing, do you think you stand a chance in breaking into uh, the call-ups, hopefully? Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully, uh, I think I have a chance to get into the team. And that's my, uh, my dream, to, to save the country, to help my country. 
uh, one day to leave the African Cup. Uh, so I'm hoping for and I'm working hard towards it because I know with hard work, everything is possible. That's true. What has been your contribution to your club this season? How has the season been like for you before the uh, break? Um, it's been well. It's been it's going on well, and I'm still uh, working hard to help my club to go to the next uh, level of the Spanish league. So I'm still keeping uh, keep on working hard. And uh, how many matches have you played? Have you scored? Uh, okay. uh, what what has been I your play contribution? Play. Recently, to when when the season started, uh, I was in Ghana, so I missed like seven games because of my rec permit it delayed. So when I joined the club, they already played seven matches. So I have played sixteen games. Yeah, sixteen games, and I scored one goal. Uh, yeah. That that's so great. So. Uh, are you hoping to go back and break into the Watford team or you looking at making your deal permanent or you looking at other options should uh, the transfer season be open? Oh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get back to the Watford team. Uh, I'm hoping because we all know how the English Premier League stands uh, when, they, when they come to the highest level of the leagues around Europe. So. I'm hoping to have a good season and get back to work for. Mm. So you, you've been a player, you've gone to Udini, Romania and England, Spain. So far, which country did you enjoy playing in most? Oh, Spain. In Spain? Yes. Why? Um, as a player, you, you, look, you look at your quality, the qualities you have and where you, you can cope yourself. My qualities, I love to pass, I love to uh, play fast football. And when I come to Spain, in every single day we train with ball and Spain is in, uh, in the league of possession. So I love, I love enjoying my football here. Mm. And you played against Barcelona in the Copa del Rey before the coronavirus and you were kicked out. Uh, tell me the experience playing against Barcelona. Sorry, I, there's, there, was, there was a noise at your back. Okay, what, what I'm saying is before the coronavirus, the Copa del Rey, you had the opportunity to play against uh, Barcelona. Tell me the impact and how you felt playing against Barcelona. Okay. Um, it was an amazing moment. Um, uh, you just signed uh, for UDBs uh, recently, and you you met a club like FC Barcelona, which have players, big players like Anton Griezmann, Arturo Vidal, um, big big players, and playing on the same pitch. Those were the players when you way back you were young or when you were in Ghana, mm -hmm. you were you were just sitting at the back of the TV and watching them, and you find yourself on the same field with them. It was an amazing experience. <sighs> Uh, we were just uh, doing our best to qualify to the next stage, but our best wasn't enough. So we just take it from there and we keep on working because we learn a lot from that game. Okay. And uh, so what are some of the training programs that you go through whilst at home? What are some of the regimes? What are the... Just take us through. Somebody wants to know so that a young player, they're at home. They want to also want to see some of the training regimes that you go through there. So you uh, sh should I say it or you want me to demonstrate? Okay, if you can demonstrate or just say some of them, mention some of them. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> we do a lot of abs work, uh, sit ups and push up, and we have a cycle in our homes and our real so Sometimes they give us time, maybe. 45 minutes you have to ride a cycle for maybe 18 kilometers 20 kilometers okay. and that's what we'll be doing in our homes that's that's so that's so great now let us look at uh, yourself playing in spain have you faced any challenge with regards to racism or with your club everything is okay Okay, for myself, uh, I haven't experienced any racism abuse uh, against me, and my situation with the club is perfectly nothing, uh, nothing is wrong, and I'm enjoying my stay in UD visa and the island. 
Do you have any guardian player with you there? Uh, no, no. Mm. But w w what do you make of uh, the impact of Ghanaian players in Spain now? Are they doing very well? Are Ghanaian players lifting the flag of Ghana very high? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I know a couple of Ghanaian players who are also doing well. Uh, Yayaboa, I think, is Seta Vigo. Uh, and uh, Obin, Obin one uh, forward. Uh, Oviedo. We are, in the, we are in the same group, so I know those guys are also doing well and lifting the flag of Ghana high. That's so true. There are young players who are in Ghana always praying for the opportunity to go for trials and also play in Europe. To you, what is the advice? What are some of the things that help you to get a club in Europe and look at all these places that you've been to? What has been the, 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 the success behind where you are? What is the story behind the success? Oh, my advice to the youth... Uh... One, they have to put God first. They have to be, they have to be prayerful, and they have to be humble, and they have to be hard working guys. They don't have to believe in luck, but they have to believe in hard working. Uh, they'll go to training. They will train with the team. Uh, they have to have their own personal training. Because for me, I believe in hard work. So they have to be humble and be respectful to their coaches, to the elderly people, they have to listen to advice, they have to uh, get away from negative stuff. And I think with God, all things are possible and one day they'll make it big. Yeah. You know, COVID-19 is real. Your family is back home, your fans, your friends, loved ones, they are all in Ghana. What message do you have for them, even as they are watching you live? Um, I will, I will ask them to take the health test very seriously because uh, the virus, the coronavirus, is very rare, and they have to take good care of them themselves. They, they have to follow the health test of what is going on. Um, you have to wash your hands frequently with soap and dry running water. Uh, you have to cover your nose. Uh, you have to cover your mouth when uh, coughing, and after that, you mm. have to throw the tissue into a dustbin and if you're having any symptoms like flu or dry coughing like fever you have to don't hesitate to visit any clinic to uh, soak it out for you so quickly like it won't get worse and we have to follow the instruction of the president and be home be safe and take good care of ourselves and i know together we come out stronger because it's not easy now. I know with God, all things are possible, so everything will be fine soon. Everything will be fine soon. Hopefully, we will get to see you in the national team one of uh, these few days. Oh? Yes, yeah, sure, hopefully soon. Hopefully, very soon, we get to see Kwesi Sibo in the shortable possible time playing for the Black Stars of Ghana. Kwesi, thank you very much, and God 